guys, if you guys could go back in time to before you guys started your business, before Rice and Bundles was a thing, before you started selling all your nice and amazing products, what would you guys tell yourself before the very start? Like, what would be one piece of advice you would give each other? Also, wait, sorry. We want to thank Rap Kings as well yeah, for, for wrapping our machine and taking his time out to do all the perfect designs that we wanted. Yes, they, they made it come to life. <laughs> Literally. Yes. We really, really have a dog box in the mall. Um, <laughs> go back to your question. Sorry about that. I That's all right. think I would say that we should have no, no, no. For the for the business, what would you tell yourself? For yeah, 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 yeah. I would like, tell myself be patient and to um also to work on me. <laughs> I think um dedication and research. Do your research before. Not saying that we didn't do research prior to starting the business, but not as much as we really should have. Well, I should have. I, 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 well, I can I'm say, say, I, I can say um, that our business was kind of like brick stone at us, and you got to learn how to build a house. Because, like, we started, <laughs> like, from the it, it literally, like, we, can the way we started our business, like, we literally had nothing. Like, the, the lashes that we started off with is the lashes that we had. So, the money that we made off of that is the money we put back into it. So we just keep putting money back into it. Even sometimes they even come out of our own pockets sometimes. So like, I think, you know, we just, I, I'm really grateful because like I said, we really came from nothing. When I say that like from bottom up. So the, the vending machine moment was very much surreal because it was like, wow. Mm -hmm. like, you went from having like what, 10 pair of lashes. Now you have like, a big machine full of them, so you can't do anything like God. And that. I would tell myself to keep praying and trust the process and be patient with my sisters and my mother. <laughs> the one thing that I also like about our business is that, that we never really, like, argue about our business. Like, we always get along with each other. That's one thing. Even we, if we agree. Some people, like, never do business with family, but I disagree with that a lot because my sisters, like, we always get along and we, always, we have a good bond, so... It made our business go a, little, mm -hmm. a lot of more smoother because smoother. if we think about something and we talk about it, we have like one set decision, you know. So we don't really like go back and forth with each other about anything. So it kind of made our business. Yeah, we've feel never like, really had like a genuine fight on like, no, I want this, yes, I want this. Mm -hmm. So we all, work, I think we work together. Kind of yeah. go with the flow a little bit. Yeah. Like we just was like, okay, yes, what she wants and we want this. So then the next time when something else pops up, it's like, well, maybe we can do it your way next time because you know. We just try to take turns here to mm -hmm. our opinions. Okay. And so if you guys could give one piece of advice as a whole, if you guys could give one piece of advice to aspiring entrepreneurs, especially those who are interested in selling their own hair, trust me, selling your own hair, I think that is one of the hardest things to do, especially since you have to look for vendors. So what advice would you give to people who are interested in maybe selling their own eyelashes or selling their own hair? Like I said, or in um, the trust, the, trust the process and believe in your brain. And do your research. Very much those three things. Do your research, trust the process. And um, believe in your brain. Just do it. Like, because don't even, I think a lot of people think too hard about it and they end up down themselves and don't even get to the point to do it. So just go for it. Like, even if you have, you know, not that much money to your name, because we didn't have any data, I mean, when we first started. So yes, and also plan and research. Just put a lot of things work, because if you just have an idea and you don't do the about it, you're going to really be clueless. And it really leaves you, because then you're going to look at your competitors, like I say, and you're really right. going to be like, well, what do I need to do? Like, like in school, before you, like, mm -hmm. write your essay, you have to do a little bubble map thing. Like a draft. Do like a draft. Do <laughs> Make sure you know what you want, how you want your brand to look, how you want when people because like right now people remember us for our brand, our colors, our logo. So like when they see purple, orange, and pink, they're like, oh brass. So just really know what you want and what you want your customer to expect from you. So have a set plan, like they said. Mm -hmm.